What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mama today, Uncle Joey, still a hold. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. I'm still tired, man. I'm just waking up. But let's make it happen, y'all. So now in a previous video, <clears throat> I spoke on Corey's former cameraman actually Mafia coming man. out and exposing Mafia a few man. things about Carmen and Corey's relationship. Now, uh -huh. all of this is alleged, uh -huh. but he's stating that he witnessed Corey putting hands on Carmen as well as cheating on her multiple times. Now, check out. We want to see the proof and evidence, Alex. Where's the evidence for these allegations? That's all I want to know. That's all I want to know because right now, it's like you're a bitter ex coworker. You know what I'm saying? You're a bitter ex employee. You know how they say bitter ex baby mama? Bitter ex employee, my nigga. <laughs> Where are your receipts? Up that video to get more in depth details. I will link that video at the top here. But now Alex isn't <laughs> done. He has more stories to tell on more stories with no backing. What allegedly <laughs> happened in Carmen and Corey's household. So we were on our way back from Corpus. Oh, this nigga uses a voice message. Oh my God, bro. Even if they're real stories, where is your proof and evidence? And someone at the house did not do something that Corey wanted, but he never told anybody that he wanted done. This nigga. And Carmen was like, do you expect them to read your minds? Like, are they supposed to know exactly what you think? And he's like, nah, but like, they should know and have intuition that I want this done. And Carmen's like, that's just not how it works. And then he just went off on her. And then he skidded the car on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. May not be in the middle of nowhere, but I don't know the area. And then she, he kicked her out. And she get up, got out and started walking down the road. And he sped off and kicking rocks at her. Sped off and kicked her out. And she get up, got out and started walking down the road. And he sped off and kicking rocks at her. And then the other guy that was with her was like, bro, you got to go back for her. That's your wife. And of course, I don't give a f I have my kid. That's all I need. I, they need. They got me. I handle the money. Carmen, she, he didn't give a f her. And then it took a while. But the other guy with us was able to convince Corey to go back and get Carmen. I really thought we were about to leave Carmen in Corpus Christi, which is four hours away from where we were at. And that was awful. And I didn't record anything because I, like, I'm not a black male person. That's not who I am. Oh my God, y'all. Now, I'm not saying that what he is saying is a lie. All right? I wasn't there. He's saying that he was there. All right? So I'm not saying that what he is saying is right or wrong. All and, and if that is true, Corey is definitely fucked up for that, right? But if you have no proof, there's no reason now that you're upset, my nigga, to come out and air out his personal fucking business, bro. Like you were the side chick or something. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> He's still not paying you. He's definitely not paying you now. Like I said, man, this is just bitter. It's just bitter, y'all. It's really bitter. Because if... Corey had paid him, he wouldn't be saying any of this right now, right? If Corey hadn't have fired him, he wouldn't have said shit, right? But now that you're, I guess, strapped for cash, now you want to air this shit out, bro? Come on, man. This is I just, am. This is um, just lame. A lot of people choose not to believe this. this and I really don't care, but I just, I just want to put it out there that, that this happened. Why, though? Why are you putting it out? Because you're upset that you didn't get paid. That's tough. And Carmen deserves a lot better. I have some people who who will testify against Corey hitting Carmen, but Bro. the only other person with us in that car was the guy with us, and I don't know if he'll testify against Corey. What's wrong with this Alex nigga, is bro? speaking on another situation that occurred here where Corey put Carmen out of the car and was ready to leave her four hours away from her. All I'm going to say is this. I am not a believer in domestic violence at all. Emotional abuse or anything, right? But what I will say is a motherfucker going to stay around a motherfucker until they don't want to stay around that motherfucker, right? So if Carmen is still there through all of that bullshit, Carmen wants to be there. 
okay? I ain't got, that ain't my relationship. That ain't got shit to do with me. And it doesn't matter who gets in Carmen's ear. She's going to be there if she wants to be there. So you stepping out and trying to be the white knight of the situation, seemingly white knight, even though you waited until you, you know, didn't get what you wanted to air this out. Like this, this is going to do nothing, Alex. It's going to do nothing. Maybe if you had some proof, you know, it would definitely do something. And like I said, if this was a real situation that happened, then yes, Corey is fucked up for that. But at the end of the day, man, for one, it's not his place to be speaking out on this situation. Second, right? He has no proof or backing, no evidence to support his claims. Therefore, we have to just take it as fluff. On top of that, Carmen is still there supporting her man. So... <laughs> There's no case here. Next. Home. Now, a lot of people would want to know why is Alex actually putting out all of this information now? Well, thing is, he's stating that Corey breached a contract that they both signed. So I did get a copy of that contract. Damn, shout out to T-Room for getting the um contract. Where you can see here that Corey was to pay the cameraman Alex $16.25 weekly or $6,500 a month. And mm -hmm. as you can see below that, it states what Alex's duties were as Corey's cameraman. Okay. Now, there also was a termination section in this contract. Now, upon termination, if Corey were to breach the contract, he was to pay the cameraman four months payment mm. which was twenty six thousand oh. dollars now if the cameraman decided to leave before the terms were up he was supposed to pay Corey six months of pay oh. before leaving so you guys let me know what you guys think about oh damn well if that's in the contract my nigga like what if that if that's in the contract Corey, you gotta pay up and i wonder like yeah, that's in the contract. That's in the black and white, you know? Man, that shit in black and white, ain't it? Shout out to the tea room for actually getting the contract. I guess she got it from old dude or whatever the case is, right? So, wow. Hey, Corey, pay that man his money, man. Pay that man his money, you know? Like, that was a dumbass. Of what? Corey, why would you... Why would you even sign a contract that says that you got to pay this nigga four months payment in the amount of $26,000? Why would you even agree to that if i'm firing somebody it's for a reason right if i'm firing you it's for a reason <laughs> so with that being said i'm not signing nothing that says that i owe you shit after i fire your ass now let go is different if i had to let you go due to certain circumstances due to okay you know i gotta you know my budget does not permit me to do this and do that anymore then yes I'll go ahead and pay you X amount of dollars, kind of like a, uh, you know, a severance package or something like that from a job. But if I'm firing you, bro, you obviously were lacking, slacking. You obviously weren't fulfilling your needs to the job. Why would you have a clause in here that says that you're required to pay this man four months after you terminate this guy, bro? It's in black and white. It's in black and white. And if this is the legit contract that Corey signed, that's on him. And I would definitely be trying to get my chochos. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about that. Put this down in the comment definitely section below. Known. As I stated previously, this guy actually lived in Carmen and Corey's house for about a month. So he knows a lot of what went on. But anyways, you guys let me know your opinions on that. I do want to move on to this next topic. Yeah, like I said, if you, if you don't have any evidence or proof of what happened, then you can say what you want to say. But at the end of the day, you're just going to look bitter. Now, I do feel like, look, that contract was in black and white. Corey's dumbass signed that shit, all right? So if you sign that, then you have to pay what is owed. I definitely agree with that. So, hey. This next topic with Deja and her alleged new boo. Now, it's been rumored that she is dating someone else by the name of Snoop. Now, they've been spotted out in multiple places together. Snoop was touching on that coochie and, and putting that thumb in her butt. There. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Reported in one of my previous videos how Deja 
Deja did state that she is no longer talking to Lando. But anyways, mm-hmm. you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Now let's move on. T Room was probably like, I ain't putting that video on there because that motherfucker there was like explicit as hell. I just feel like Lindasia is living her best life as she should. There's no reason right now that she should be locked down, especially after being locked down in her previous relationship, right? So to go from relationship to relationship would be dumb. But she's going to, she's going from fling to fling to fling. And why not? She's young. She's getting it. You know what I'm saying? I said the same thing about Ray. She young. She getting it. There's nothing wrong with them doing what they want to do. Now let's move on to this next topic with Realty. I'm about sick and tired of these niggas, man. And CJ. So now Realty posted on her Instagram story, let's do this. My circle just this. got smaller. Hope that picture and $300 tip was worth it. Now it appears that Realty may be talking about her hairstylist. Now if you guys didn't know, Realty and CJ do have the same person come and do their hair. Just last week, CJ posted, my hair lady did Cordair hair and my hair in the same day. As you can see here, I have her name blocked out, but the hairstylist did post a photo of CJ. Now Realty and the hairstylist appeared to be very cool. She She's done Realty's hair on multiple occasions. She braids the kids' hair. This is her go-to stylist. Well, just that was like the classic hairstyle for people growing up. Then you had the picture in the background, it, like the butterflies and the shit in the background. Just as of yesterday, <laughs> Realty did unfollow her. She is still following Realty. You know, a lot of people would want to know why is Realty upset about the hairstylist still doing CJ's hair. Now, as you guys know, CJ has stayed that he is taking royalty to court so he's been trying to serve her but in order to do so he would need an updated address for her now he has stated many times that he has no idea where royalty lives now you guys know the hairstylist does go to their homes to do their hair so what people are thinking is the hairstylist actually gave royalty's address to cj you guys let me know what you guys think about Mm. this situation down in the comment section what yeah that's not cool at all bro should the hairstylist have stepped in between the two and gave cj a smart hairstylist would keep it 100 neutral right so i could keep both clients like come on now he's address let me know your opinions on that down in the comment section below no i do want to move on to this next topic with kamari now you guys know that funny mike recently did have bad kids prom- not that the shay is trying to flex while clapping he said <laughs> right now you guys know that funny it's the strongest clap i ever seen mike recently did have bad kids prom <laughs> where a lot of YouTuber influencers were there. Now someone said on TikTok, you should have been invited to Bad Kid Prom. Kamari responds with, me and my mama did. I can show y'all the messages. Then people were like, okay, why didn't you all go? And Kamari liked a comment that stated, Realty and the kids was there, and I'm pretty sure her mom wasn't going to let her go. Now, that would have been absolutely crazy if both of them would have been there. But you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment Fucking section mess below. Per usual. No, I do want to move on to this next topic with Chloe and Hallie. Chloe recently did an interview with Lotto where she spoke on DDG and Hallie's relationship. Feel a little tea. Uh-oh. Here we go. So, how do you feel about ddg you like him for your sister was good because i'll be like protective over my sister listen like, i am like, so pro- you, you ain't gonna do sh- uh-uh. i am so protective of my sister yeah but As seeing how be. happy she is i'm happy yeah you know i feel like that's how my. i like that i like that you know she happy i'm happy told him i had my eye on him i As said you i said you without you, killing you as you mm. should i told him that he knows don't leave evidence though. you know but yeah. i think ddg man I, I don't know him personally of course but he seems like he's a good guy especially to his women y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below man i love you guys so freaking much make sure that y'all like comment subscribe all of that tell a friend and tell a friend tell the angel mama to tell the uncle joey still a hall we'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video i love y'all man peace we out baby.